Yo there guys, this is Cobb and the live stream is up right now over on Twitch, just mucking around on my EU account this time, so feel free to come and chill after you've watched this video. A link to the Twitch channel is down below in the video description, but here and now, uh, welcome to another episode of Dueling with Cobb. This is of course the series in which I duel you guys, then provide some commentary over the duels, pointing out the things that I did well, as well as the mistakes I made. Uh, so let's get right into it. First couple of duels are against Dreadors, the Destro Lock. You can see the first thing that both of us do um, is put up a havoc on one another's pets. Destro versus Destro is something of an ember war, uh, so every little helps. I spell lock sack my pet really, really early so he doesn't get off too many double casts. Uh, and by sacrificing my pet after using spell lock, I also reset my spell lock cooldown. Uh, and this is why you should always begin a duel with your fell hunter summoned when playing a sacrifice spec. You can see that I lock him out again here uh, with that second spell lock. So it is really, really worth doing. We're kind of going through a sparring mode right here. I still haven't used my coil just yet, uh, which is a little bit of a mistake. I do use it now, though, when I pop Dark Soul, and Dreados uses his Dark Bargain, as well as landing some damage. It is very, very important to land Fears off of your coils and Shadow Furies. Uh, it's going to force Trinkets, and that is going to help you keep ahead later on. At this point, I'm pretty much just staring at his Shadow Fury cooldown. I know that he's going to be eager to land it, uh, and I managed to dodge it here with a well-timed portal. He does, however, still have a ton of damage coming in that I can't really prevent, so I do use my heals here, as well as Dark Bag, and he still has his Dark Soul up, though. And he's just going ham right now, so I decide to Zoroth res my fellow and to, uh, to spell lock him. I know he has no spell lock ready here, so I land a fear. Then I re-fear on his will, but once again, I'm just watching his Shadow Fury cooldown. It is ready once again, and I'm going to try and predict when he's going to go for it. So I portal out of the spell lock, uh, but I wasn't quite quick enough this time. He's going to get the fear onto me and land some damage, but I'm not too worried. I still have unending resolve and ended up using that here. Uh, I could have been quick with this mortal coil to avoid eating this Chaos Bolt, uh, but you're living your lane, and even though it's a little bit tight, I go for the win here. Uh, as I know that he has no defensives left. This next duel starts out in a very, very similar way. The main difference is the way in which I use my defensive cooldowns, though. Uh, I make a couple of chunky mistakes that Dreadhorse does well to capitalize on. So I'm duplicating some casts onto his pet again. I almost managed to sneak off a Shadow Bane onto his pet. Uh, but he sacrifices it just in time. We lob some Fell Flames one another. Uh, then in the spell lock, I was sure that he was going to Shadow Fury off of it. Uh, he instead goes for a fear, which I can do something about. I land some damage. But again, I'm very, very aware that he has a Shadow Fury ready right now. Am um, I putting my dueling experience to work here as well as hoping to get a little bit lucky? He conflags. I count the GCD, then I hit my portal, and I manage to dodge the stone. A little bit lucky, uh, but hey. Again, I Zoroth res a pet to spell lock him. I think that it's a really, really awesome thing to do, um, especially to prevent fears or an incinerate spam or something like that. Uh, he bargains. I do not want to damage into that, so I fear. Uh, we have a little fear off here, actually, which was a little bit risky by Dreadalls. Um, and I'm able to howl him because he pushed in. So at this point, I'm feeling very, very safe. I have every defensive in the world ready to go. Uh, but then I make a really, really big mistake. I take a ton of damage here. And I pop Unending Resolve and Dark Bargain. Now, this isn't a bad thing. And honestly, it's usually better to use these cooldowns before your heals. And while they're up, you can build Embers for Ember Taps to spend on your heals afterwards. However, in this case, I was extremely low and I had no Trinket. I should have just blew my heals right here as well. Uh, so after I fail at trying to avoid a Shadow Fury, um, I get feed without a Trinket, and as a result, I don't even get my heals off. Well played by Dreadles for sure for spotting that, but a big mistake by me there, holding onto my heals. This next duel is against Drakush the Death Knight. Most important things to focus on here is getting Havoc up onto his pet, forcing his CC breakers, and using defensive cooldowns properly. He goes ham immediately, uh, so I silence him into a fear, forcing his desecrated ground. He uses AMS. So I just start running, I pop Unending Resolve here too as well. Just adds a shield wall to help me survive his burst damage. Then I'm going to get my Havoc up and running onto his Gargoyle, I Howl. And that's going to get his Lich Bone, and not long after this, I Shadow Fury to get his IBF. Really, really important to note though how I'm using my defensives here. I'm refusing to pop my heals until I have a good amount of Ember Taps to tunnel into them, and that is really the best way to make use of your Dark Regen. Uh, during the bargain, I built three Burning Embers, which is perfect, as I can now pop my heals and pretty much heal myself back to full. Uh, then I get to go offensive again. He has no trinkets now. Um, so I spell lock him into a blood horror. Uh, then once my fear comes back up, I'm going to be able to take this here win. And this final set of duels are against Nilrog, the arms warrior. My strategy against warriors is pretty set in stone at this point. Land as much CC as possible. Uh, pets juice, blood horror, and shadow fury. Land as much damage as I can. Then just survive until I can land a second lump of CC. 
uh, that I can hopefully take a win with. So you can see that it's all going to plan. I go for a Chaos Bolt here. Uh, just as his reflect is on cooldown, I managed to force out his shield ball. I don't want to pit to use a third time. We want to let the Diaz reset. Uh, so with no more CC left, I go into survival mode. Nilrog goes crazy with every CD in the world. I should have used an ending resolve here too. But for some reason, I decide to only use my bargain. Uh, really, really needlessly risky by me again. I'm just buying myself time though to build some embers to spam into my dark regen. And now that I've survived his YOLO and my CC is ready again, I'm just going to try for the win. He trinkets my pet juice instantly, which was a little bit terrifying. Uh, but I do get off a blood horror and have a Shadow Fury ready to go out of this, as well as a follow up pet juice if needed. Um, so I think I played this one okay, just no idea why I didn't put my earning resolve. Uh, on his recklessness earlier on. In this next duel, I make two very, very big mistakes that hopefully some of you guys will learn from. Uh, the plan is the same, things start out in very much the same way, landing my CCs and damaging as much as I can to try and force something, but I can't support my health and I get a little bit panicked. So after this blood horror, um, in which I force the shield wall actually, I mess up big time, I use my heals instead of my Dark Bargain, meaning I don't buy myself bonus time to build Ember Taps in, and then I go ahead and land a third DR pet seduce, and this means that I won't be able to land another full seduce uh, for around 15 seconds. So now I have no way of CCing Nilrog for quite some time, and I didn't get the most out of my heals, and this means I'm not going to be able to survive long enough until my CC is ready to go again, so I get myself ripped in half. Well played by Nilrog, mistakes were made, uh, but still an awesome series of duels. Check out his channel in the description down below uh, to see some of his point of view on these same duels, and that is going to be all for this I think it's a pretty short, actually, episode of Dueling with Cobb. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to take part in the next episode, remember to send me a private message with your battle tag and a link to your armory for a chance of being selected. But also bear in mind how many of you guys there are. I apologize in advance if you don't get picked, but it is impossible to fit all of you in. There's just so many of you now. Thanks for watching, though, guys. Have an awesome day. Stay destro. I'm going to catch you all a little bit later.